<laughs> Go, Floyd. Okay. I am protected under a DVRO, domestic violence restraining order, I guess the equivalent of a protective order. And my father is relaying messages from the restrained person to me. What can I do? Hmm. I've told my father repeatedly not to to not communicate with the restrained party or relay messages. It has not stopped. So I think it depends on what the protective order says. Um, because there are some protective orders that the language says that you cannot communicate like a, a threat um, through a third party. And there's other protective orders that include that language and then it'll also include no communication, period. Um, and so if it is one of those protective orders that says no communication, period, at all, through a third party or otherwise, most of the time they have the exception except through an attorney, right? Um, but if it's through a third party, um, that could potentially be a violation of that protective order. And what I would recommend is that you contact the police. And I don't I don't know. I don't know. The father wouldn't get into any trouble. Your father wouldn't get into any trouble because that protective order is binding on the, you know, ex-husband. Restrained person. The restrained person. Yeah, whoever he is. And so you could, in my opinion, probably prosecute him or request that he be prosecuted. Don't cheat and look at the next question. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> You're I'll tell you what I was no, looking at. No, you're a moment. cheater is what you're, what you're no, doing. Go and ahead. So, and so um, I do believe that that would potentially be a criminal um, uh, consequence for the restrained person. And so he should probably stop doing that. Will they drug test me before court? I'm a juvenile and I was caught with a THC pen. I have not been charged yet, but I have my first court soon. And it was the worst decision of my life, but now I have stopped using weed, and I have a job, and I'm making good grades. I was just wondering if they would drug test me before court. First, I don't think a THC pen classifies weed. It's THC, but I don't know if it's old school weed, right? Well, perhaps you should tell him this. I don't think it's weed. Okay. Um, so weed is a green leafy substance. Uh, you would typically roll in a cigarillo or something like that, and... Uh, but the THC pen is different. Uh, it's felony. But anyways, um, so generally, no, they're not going to test you before court. However, I would not be using any more in case they decide to. Because if they decide to, it could be a violation of your bond conditions. And then you go back to jail. Um, so typically, they don't drug test you. But just in case, don't do it. It's happened occasionally. Right? Mm -hmm. We've had some criminal defendants come in and judge randomly do drug tests. But it doesn't happen very often. So. Excellent. Hey. Can I get in trouble if I met a woman online that I sent her money? <laughs> Lord, what, this was the next are, one up. Y'all uh, <laughs> are such jerks. This was We're a, not doing this question. <laughs> I met a woman online and she sent me a video of her giving oral sex. Fellatio, if you will. Then I said, I wish that would be me. <laughs> she said there was a deposit. I said, it's fine. It's time. Deposit. Okay. Um, I sent money. I'm not answering this I, question. I sent money, but then I never met with her. I don't want to meet up with her. I just got caught up in the excitement of all of it. Can you get in trouble? You're such a... How did that end up in the yes pile? Y'all just slipped yes. it in? I, I, I put it in the no pile. I don't know. Is that oh, how, my God. Such a jerk. Oh, boy. <sighs> <sighs> so we're not answering it? We're not answering the God question, Chandler. Oh, my God. If my spouse owned an LLC before marriage... And that business earns income during our marriage. Is that income community property? She details below. If my spouse owned an LLC before marriage and the business earns income during our marriage, is that income community property? She said that twice. Was, that was sounded like the exact same question. It was. Um, so the income is community property. 
so long as the income is dispersed to him personally, right? So if the income is <coughs> within the LLC, then that money is not going to be considered community property. Once that money is transferred from the LLC into your personal checking or savings or any other account, um, <laughs> It's so annoying. If if that money is dispersed into the personal accounts, then at that point, yes, that would be considered community property. <laughs> you're so, oh, you're so annoying. So she just told me this morning that she had a hearing yeah. yesterday, and Judge got so bored with her, he started humming. <laughs> yeah, good times. Okay. So, so when you get bored with her, just home. No, don't do that. It's annoying. Um, can me and my co-defendant get married now, or do we have to wait until we, we are both released? So we were engaged living together before the case. He has been incarcerated the whole time, and we both now have been sentenced to prison. My bond stated no contact with him and a few others before sentencing. It's a federal case, and I am still out to, out, out to surrender. Are we able to get married now, or do we have to wait until one is released in order to live together during probation? What in the hell? I told you to read the questions. Uh, so, okay. Um, well, if you were sentenced to prison, I don't think the bond conditions are applicable anymore. Right? doesn't matter what the bond conditions said if you were sentenced. That's what it says. You were sentenced to prison, right? Bond stated no contact. Um, but we were both sentenced to prison. And a few before sentencing, and yes. Okay, so the bond conditions don't apply. So it's just whether the prison facility will allow you to marry another inmate, and I have no idea. Good question. You should confer with the uh, facility in which you are residing. Okay. Um, let's do another one. So. Can I get my kids back if I'm not allowed to be around other minors? No. I am not allowed to be around minors for 10 years, but I'm allowed to be around mine if the judge approves me to be. Is there any, is there even a chance of me getting my kids back within the next 10 years? Um, is there a chance? Yes. Is there a good chance? Probably not. Um, I think it's going to, so I guess this is a sex offender, maybe a criminal offense. Does it say? Um, so initially I, th I thought it was a, a civil case, but it sounds like he's not allowed to be around any kids for 10 years. Sounds like a sex offender thing. And he's got some kids of his own. And so it would depend on your probation terms, right? Whether there's an exception for your kids, whether you're allowed to be around your kids, uh, Depends on who the crime was committed against. If it was against your kids, I would say probably no. Um, how bad the crime was, I don't know. There's a lot of factors that go into it. But is there a chance? Absolutely a chance. Just not a very good one. And you should go to the judge and see what they say. Easy breezy. I don't know. That was terrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, as yeah. always, thank you guys so much for listening to us, um, for watching us. We appreciate the support. Um, find us on any social media platform that exists, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube. Like and subscribe. Um, again, this is not to be construed as legal advice. Find yourself a good attorney that you feel comfortable with. Tell them your story and then listen to them. Bueno. Cute. Not all.